Trying to get these teams out from these entrenched positions. You call it. There's not a lot of other good options because they know how to play around the angles. Or sometimes you just gotta crash. Is that what Ghost is doing right now? Into Passion Fruit. Already, multiple members are looking to go down. As you see in the drop shot coming in there, and just like that, blink and you miss it. Passion Fruit just got eaten up. Ghost is also looking to get involved because they were able to keep all four players alive. Dave, they're the only <laughs> team in the lobby that can say that. And the nades, oh my goodness, send that vehicle into the sky. Bail right behind this buggy. He's gonna be spotted out. Bucky very shortly. Uh oh. Bucky needs to be cautious. Bayo is right there. The shots are raiding through, but Bayo can't get it done. And he's actually going to drop. All right, they do end up trading out one player each. And with the buggy explosion, that's just going to be it. Ghost still has the numbers. Ghost has the advantage. And Ghost Gaming will take game number one here in our second super weekend. They're pushing uphill. They want this compound, these shacks, for themselves. They were able to get the revives off on both players. Legal, though, doesn't have the time to get out the first aid as Xenox is pushing in. Smoke grenades are coming down to try and create some chaos, trying to survive through it. Here comes the push in. Poppy's going to drop. Legal is still in the fight, though, but Fox is going down as well. One after another. 19 esports, methodical in the execution, but Carnage goes down. Yeah, he is able to actually get one back on the team, and... Oh my goodness, it all comes down to this. It won't be three situation. One beat one, actually. Hang on a second. What is this player doing, Dave? It's Xenox. Xenox uh, has those gun skills looking to wrap around. Xenox right there, able to save the day. There's a bunch of teams all stacked on top of each other right here. And taking fights from every different angle. You called Prophecy out as being one needs to make a play. The play is getting made on him, I should say. But Bayo drops instead. The turn is there. Ghosts are starting to fall one after another, maybe extending themselves just a little bit too far. Somebody needs to strike. Ghost has been knocked time and again, but nobody has been able to put them six feet under. As we're seeing Ooh. now, Aphelion looking to do just that. Slap this here. Multiple players are down. They're in the dirt, but they're not out of it yet. Able to get the revives through. How are they still in this? It, it's the terrain. It's the terrain. You know, you're inside your dip. You feel safe. But then when you push up the hill, you're going to be exposed from multiple angles for that third party. So that's why these teams are kind of pumping the brakes when they should be just full-blown gassing it. Because this is the time to claim this spot as your own, just like the Knights did. And if they can continue to hit shots like that, maybe that's just how they bust right out with sheer force of arms. But as I say it, no. Sky steps up, downs multiple members. It all comes down to Bishop. And the EFC is the one to close that one out. The Knights, they took the ground, but what did it cost them? Everything! As now, Nova looking towards EFC. It will be a 3v4 position if they can get Memory back up in the fight. All comes down to trying to navigate this ridge line. Both teams licking their wounds, and Dave being able to keep these players alive. We talked about it, how strong it is to have all four players. Let's see if it works for <laughs> Nova. What was that? She fan through the pan! She fan through the pan! To even get to this point in the game. All gonna come down to how many rounds they got left in the clip. Whoa! And how they use them. Coops, the player you identified, Dave, going off there. Dropping a key Nova player. And Nova maybe spread themselves too far. Maybe trying to get a little bit too aggressive. Not pushing it together. And having all four players doesn't matter if you can't bring them to bear at the same time. Having to move forward, having to move into the circle costing them as she fan able to try and trade one back david's 2v2 make it a 2v1 it all comes down to skies can he get the shots done no he cannot enigma fan club show up to the super weekend with the stellar plays x set chin choked on the bridge esc trying to push it everybody just desperately trying to get into this zone and it's so so deadly look at nova telly through the oh. Oh. drop shots putting in work ESC just getting punished, and here comes the blue zone, baby, to sh finish him off. The random sprays through the smokes, they're connecting the shots, and look, Real Kiss right on the edge of the blue zone. He is laughing right now, not taking any damage, but is going to make the call to pull back behind the boulder and try to get the pickups, try to get the resets. Juicy's from Exit still up, having to go up against Russell. Big 1v1 here. Nice little pre file from Russell. Jump, jump, jump from Juicy! From downtown with the Uzi, putting in so much work. You know Russell's so pissed, and he's gonna catch Xenox here as well. One bullet left, the blue zone though, is gonna take him out, for sure. Oh. So there goes 19E, exit, Juicy, run! Running for his life, oh, but gets shut oh. down from We Support Farmers. Ghost Gaming know for a fact that they're right there. 
He's got them steel toe boots on for now. But man, he can basically smell these grenades. The ball is off! It's gonna catch him at the name! The combination! The unnamed going out! We support farmers trying to chuck these grenades across the channel. Get that knock to even give him the potential to cross the river. We got some trades coming on out right here. Yeah, trades as in giving, you know, free points to Ghost because that one was in the bag for them. Not going to be good. Juicy on that off angle has to make sure he does not get knocked by any chance because if he does, he's not getting rezzed. And we see J7 putting on some shots as they try to get kill switch rag up. Yeah, this is huge. He needs to try and back space in time. It's a 3-1 and a 3-1. Both teams have that off-angle player to try and back up and support the teams, which means it's going to make it even trying harder to thirst these kills. Part of the reason kill switch is still up and alive is because they haven't been able to push out, but with Nico dropping, this is huge. Navy, the player, stepping in, stepping up for his team. This is the opening that they need. J7 for the high ground. Can't quite bring the Tommy gun to bear, and he's trying to position himself, leverage himself so the Juicy can offer the support from the back. The oh. nade goes in, but Navy's just too big as J7 drops Lazarus with the clean take. They've been, say, they've been saying their prayers. Oh my goodness, because that just looked easy. Look at Nova pushing so tight together, utilizing their full squad. At the same time, on the outside. Alucard. Trying to make sure. He was trying to survive through the blue. He does eventually go down, though. And all, this, all while this is happening, we support Farmers is dropping. Nova taking fights on both fronts. G-Fan is here as well. Where's the last player, the last few? They're going for the revive. And Nova, like you tall jukes, they keep their team so close together. The way they double peek, utilize the TPP. It's absolutely flawless in these battles, and they're not slowing down. They know they've got to get aggressive, pushing in towards we support Farmers. In and around the corner, but they didn't check their ankles. And now, just like this, oh. Razor in a multiple situation, trying to find the angle. Which one comes in first? And it's both because that is how you take the fights a little bit of a sloppy entrance but a stellar finish All right peek this enox is able to confirm the kill to g fan it's a 3v3v3 three three three. let's go let's go this card is oh. trying to find an opening knock on the one of the nova players can't quite do it but they're getting pinched from multiple angles as lazarus is getting forced back by memory single-handedly Xenox drops continues to do the work oh my goodness as all these teams throw in haymakers left and right, trying to capitalize on the damage the other ones are doing, but Nova slowly look like they might be in a position to bleed out here. All comes back to memory on the outside. Fate is here. Xenox coming around the corner. The shots are raining through, through from all sides as the pitch comes in on the Fate. Fate just trying to survive as Nova's crashing on in. 19 is here as well. Xenox! Fate drops! Xenox, baby! Dropping down from the sky and clutching this win, but now it's memory. 1v1. Who's gonna win this? Memory's gonna jump down. M7? Oh, this is so crucial. Rin's going to pinch him into the corner, make him take more damage from the blue. He gets the full heal off in the 1v1 situation. Back and forth, spraying and praying. Wow. And Nova Esports gets it done. But so many missed shots at the end. Are you kidding me? Chat G, I mean, honestly, one of, the, one of the really most solid fundamental fraggers. I think we've seen that Noah Molotov just eating them alive. So now Exit's turned this around. All they have to do is hit another big nade to open up this fight even further. And now they're just starting, oh, look at that. Oh, the hit list, Chachi. Good luck. Oh, they may have drawn first blood, but it's their blood that's being spilled here in the crates. The collapse, the pitch comes through. Kill switch, juicy, everyone. And Chachi is still able to take one down before he goes. Such fantastic fundamental mechanics. But Xset, despite losing one early off the back of fantastic utility usage, were able to take down the hit list. That's one less team to deal with. Day number one of week two. They've got three players up and alive, continuing to put shots down range. Ran clean M4. Tippity tap tap. Oh, he's just he stole it. Oh, he's just, baby. Oh, this man has Hawkeyes. Man, and he doesn't stop. This is the same clip. Slight change in play could get it done. And the answer what? is yes. Uh, HH24. Alone? HH? Alone? Oh, it's two with the nade. Hang on a second. He's going to throw another one. He's cooking it. He's throwing it. Is he gonna do this? He gets three players down. HH24 has yet to fire a bullet, and it all comes down to this. And he can't hit the shot. Rokas, Rokas said no, sir. HH, but guess what? EFC, three points. You gotta get these points. You gotta go for them. You gotta go for the kills. You gotta go for him. Gotta go yeah. for the kills. He's gotta clean this up because even if the game yeah. ends, There's you don't points. necessarily have them. He's yeah. going for them right now. Come One on. after another. Rokas is priming the grenade. Ooh. Even if he kills his teammate, it doesn't matter. He's gotta get this off. Does the damage. One HP. I don't know if he knows how much damage oh, he's done. See y'all. Lazarus.
Oh, <laughs> yo, we said they had it in the bag in Miram? Guess what, they did, but I, all I know is that I don't want to be in that bag. Whatever that bag looks like, I do not want to be in it.